Hi all, my today's topic is retained earning in Odoo accounting. So let's dive into accounting application and opening the balance sheet report. So my financial year end date is 31st of December and you can see my balance sheet report. I have compared my balance sheet on a two period. One is for my current year 2024 and second is my past year 2023. So let's jump into the equity sections. So we can see my current year earning section. I have earned on 2023 2000. I have allocated my earning as open balance on 2023 as a 10,000. So my total unallocated earning is 12,000. And Udo shows that previous year unallocated earning section over here for my current year 2024, which is 12,000 according to the past unallocated earning and we can see here retain earning section there so it shows nothing i have no retain earning on my both of the periods so what is retain earning so once we did the our financial closing and uh, tax report submissions we left whatever in our current year earning which is called our net profit and loss so uh, according to the company's management they decided that they can either uh, encash this amount and they are uh, sharing this amount and distributing to the their stakeholders or either they are uh, retain this amount and they can use on a, a next financial year so according to the uh, the financial term sometimes it's called uh, reserve and surplus sometimes it's called carry forward of your uh, net profit or loss in uh, balance sheet but they all are the retain earning so why company decided to retain their earning so company has a uh, planning to expand in uh, next year either they are hiring more people or they introduce their uh, new product in market or they are planning to expand this uh, the business in new era so for that they are using this amount and because of that they are retaining this amount on the the particular period so for retain earning in Udo we use equity account so let's jump to the configurations and chart of accounts and we create a new account equity type account we named that retain earning and now we just go to the accounting general entry and we create one general entry retained earning entry for 2023 we use a miscellaneous general and we reference as a retained earning 2023 we use this account retained earning account here which we have just created we mark label as retained earning and because we have a 12,000 profit we booked on a credit side we use our counterpart account which is 999 undistributed profit loss we post it and let's check the balance sheet so we can see on a 2023 we have a 2000 our current year earning on 2023 we retained that 2000 and now we have not an allocated earning anymore same as we have on a current year we have not previous year unallocated earning over here and on a retain earning we have a retain earning account which shows 12,000 as retain earning so just like that we can retain our earning on a period by period or financial year closing of the financial year we can retain our amount and we can carry forward our net profit and loss to the next financial year hope you guys uh, like my video thanks for watching